Hey guys, my name is Michael. I'm here with Light Tech, and today we're going to show you how to change your CPU. So with me here, I have the Light Crown PC. We're going to be using this for our demonstration. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and just take the side panel off of the case by removing the two screws in the back and sliding the side panel to the rear and lifting to remove. Your CPU is located under your main CPU cooler, which is this device right here. You'll see that you have a fan followed by a heat sink. We're actually going to have to remove this whole heat sink assembly to get to our CPU. In order to do that, I've brought out two demonstration motherboards, one for Intel and one for AMD. We're going to go ahead and start with the Intel motherboard. In order to remove the heat sink on this model, you see that we have four plastic snaps located around the CPU. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and push down on one and rotate it in approximately 90 degrees counterclockwise until it snaps and comes up. Once you do this with all four pins around the CPU, you'll see that the main heat sink pretty easily removes itself from the motherboard and exposes the CPU. On Intel CPUs, we can pull this metal retention arm, which actually lifts up this bracket that holds the CPU in place. From there, what you want to do is you want to avoid touching the CPU on the bottom where the pins interface with the motherboard by just simply grabbing the CPU on the edges and lifting to remove. Once you have your new CPU, make sure it lines up with the slot using these two notches on either side of the CPU. Seat the CPU properly. Lower the bracket into place and push down the tensioner arm. Now once you have the CPU in place, you're going to want to apply some thermal paste. This usually comes in a tube or a syringe. We don't have any with us today, but that's for a later video. Once you get your thermal paste in place, we're going to go ahead and take our heat sink. Now this does require that you use a little bit of force, and we're just going to make sure that we line it up properly. From here, we're going to push down on the heat sink until our plastic snaps go into place. Make sure you pull up on these tabs just to make it a little bit easier on yourself and you'll see that they actually pop into place fairly easily. Once you've got all the plastic snaps in place, you'll see that the heat sink is fairly loosely held to the motherboard. Now we just need to lock it down. In order to do this, we push down on each of these plastic tabs once again and rotate them back clockwise 90 degrees. Now that we've got those all in place, our motherboard is rocking and ready to go. Once again, this is how we do an Intel CPU replacement. Now we're going to move on to the AMD segment. For AMD CPUs, you can see that they're set up slightly differently. All you really need to do for this one is simply lift up on this bracket right here. This will release a snap which holds your heatsink in place. Now from here on the side that has that lever, we're going to push down and pull sideways on this snap to release it from the plastic bracket. From there, what you're actually going to do is you're going to twist your CPU to release it from the thermal paste and lift up, exposing your CPU. Once your CPU is exposed, you just lift the tensioner arm and you'll see that the AMD CPU slides out just like the Intel one does. AMD CPUs are slightly different in the sense that they actually have pins that stick out from the CPU versus Intel that has pads and the pins are on the motherboard. So when you're reapplying the CPU, you want to be careful not to bend these pins. You'll see here that there are actually four separate blocks where no pins are located to help you line up the CPU with its socket. From here, we just line up those blocks with the CPU socket, flip the CPU back over, carefully line it up with each of the holes, and just allow it to drop into place. Once your CPU is in place, you can now reapply the tensioner arm and reapply your heat sink. For these heat sinks, you have to be careful to make sure that the bracket is grabbing the plastic bracket on not only the lever side, but the other side as well. Once you're making sure that both of these are securely attached to this plastic bracket, you can pull up on this arm and reapply it. That will hold your heat sink to your CPU fairly sturdily. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content. I'll see you guys in the next video and happy gaming.